what's happening guys okay we're off on another river adventure I know from all the viewers and uh, checking the analytics on the channel that more people enjoy the river ones and so do I but every now and again I've got to fit in a couple of uh, other videos but uh, we are back up the river heading towards Neil Doddy and specifically Greenways Landing where I think there's a free camping spot I have camped there years ago with my son but I haven't been there for a long time so uh, we'll go and check that out if not we'll find somewhere else but I'm pretty sure Greenways Landing should be pretty good so uh, that's probably about less than a kilometre north of Neil Doddy so we'll go and check that out here with me dirty old camping jumper on but uh, I'm looking forward to it we're only going for one night it's been pretty miserable the weather but good for the farmers so I'm hoping to get away for two days next weekend if the weather's okay and head up towards Barmer which I keep saying I'm gonna head up to Lake Bonnie but uh, I need it to get two good days for me to go that far so uh, hopefully next weekend but for now we're heading to Neil Dotty, Greenways Landing. I'm going to catch some fish. I've got a good cook up lined up for you later on. So uh, let's go. And uh, that means I probably should turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at, which isn't that exciting at the moment. And uh, that also means it's time to start the music. So just going to call into Bow Hill and get some supplies and see if they've got any scared of the dark medicine. If you've watched my other videos, I've been here a couple of times before. I camped here with the houseboat when I had a bit of steering trouble, got stuck here for about a week. And I've also camped down uh, by the boat ramp in the van, which was probably a few months ago now. So if you haven't seen those videos, check them out. But Bow Hill, great little place. Mainly known as the Shacky area. I'll just show you the boat ramp down there. And you can camp down here. So uh, hang on, they've just put up a new sign. Take that back. No camping, no fires. So uh, I just got my little uh, camping trip in time then, a few months ago. But uh, a lot of shacks here, busy in the summer, everyone's water skiing and fishing. Probably about 200, 250 shacks, rough guess. And a great little shop here. It's just been sold. Uh, it got burnt down probably five or six years ago. And they were using just an Atco hut to uh, sell uh, food and stuff. And I think they had the petrol station there too, but they built a brand new one, brilliant place. It's the post office, it's the bottle shop. It's a restaurant, it's, uh, did I say post office? I think I said post office, and the fuel station. So a great little store here. Uh, sorry, store closed every Monday. There we go, I'm not getting any supplies from here. But I'll just get up the top here and show you the River Murray and where houseboats can pull in too. So there you go, got a nice little jetty down there. And houseboats can pull up just to the left of the jetty or even on the jetty. Right, luckily I've still got a bit of scared of the dark medicine, so uh, let's head to Neil Dotty. Okay, I've decided we'll go and check out Scrubby Flat. I don't know what's down here, but we'll uh, 
it should be on the river no through road local traffic only stop private property private road public reserve so we can go to the right River Murray, the first one you can see, it's a bit from backwaters out the back. Yeah, not too sure about this place. Got a few funny looks from the shackies just before. Well that's Scrubby Flat, let's head to Nil Dotty. So this heads down to Crowan's Landing, which I've never driven down to before. So we'll go and check it out. A few shacks up here on the hill. Doesn't look like you'd be able to camp down here the shacky area water's up a fair bit and you check this jetty out down here well, a couple of jetties nearly flooded so the water's right up so I'm guessing I haven't really looked on the map Cronin's landing probably only about four or five k's from Neil Dotty So here we are, Neil Dotty. So Neil Dotty's up on a cliff. We'll go down to the boat ramp. I've never driven down here, and the first time I saw it was when I went, went past on the houseboat. So a great little uh, boat ramp they've got down here with a nice sign on there welcoming houseboats. But unfortunately, I think the local shop is now shut or closed up so we'll check that when we go back up the top and have a look we're going to head to Greenways Landing which is down probably about a kilometre or two but we'll just go down here and uh, check out the boat ramp a few shacks down the bottom here and it looks like there's a houseboat moored up at the jetty Oh, this might, I don't know if I know this guy or not. He looks like he lives in his houseboat because he's got uh, trees and that growing on the roof. But that's the boat ramp, a lot of rubbish in it at the moment. It's probably with the flow of the water coming down, a fair bit of flow at the moment. So we got the houseboat God Bless there. He's pretty well set up. He's got his camp oven and chainsaw back to the right. I'll try and turn the camera around and show you. So he's set up underneath the shelter there. Looks like he's staying here for a few weeks. So we'll head back up the top and show you the top of Nil Dotty.
So there's the shop. So it looks like the shop's shut, but the post office is open. General store's closed. Which means the fuel it's closed as well, so no petrol. What else they got up here? Electrical shop. So that's about it, that Neil Dotty. Nice little playground over to the right and some toilets. Back out away from the river, it's mainly Mallee Farms, so uh, crops and sheep. And all these towns along the river where they've got irrigation, they're growing things like potatoes and onions. But let's go and see if we can find Greenways Landing and hopefully it's not too wet and slippery. So this is the turn off for Greenways Landing. Got a big houseboat out there to the left, going down the middle of the river. Track looks alright down along the river where we're going to go, so I think we're going to be okay. And the bloke that owns a lot of this land, I think, is the guy that's got what they call the pink shack. And I'm colour blind, but I'll work out which one it is in a minute, because down the bottom there there's about five or six shacks. But there's one that stands out called the pink shack. And years ago when I camped here, he came along and had a good chat with us. He was going to build a big flying fox from the top of the cliff down to the river. Looks like that never happened. So Greenway Shack Road. Water's nearly up to the road. Turn the camera around to the right there a bit so you can see what we're looking at. There's another little camping spot there that looks pretty good. I reckon this is about where I've camped with my son a few years back. I don't think that's too muddy, but we'll just go a bit further. Still got that houseboat out there to the right. So this looks like the spot guys, nice little area by the river, we can chuck the rod in, place where they've had a campfire before, got a few uh, bushes and sticks there to move out the way where I want to park the van, but uh, we're going to get set up and camp here the night and get the fire going. Okay guys, got the fire going, got the fishing rod in, I left the uh, whiting rig on from the York's Peninsula trip because I'm going to waste $16 that it cost me but uh, it's not doing anything so I better change that over soon a little bit worried about the weather got some clouds the winds coming from that direction we got a few big ones up there but hopefully it'll blow through Okay guys, we've just had a bite. We've got something on the end here. It's wobbling around a bit. Oh, what is it? It looks like a Murray River pork belly. It is. It's a very rare Murray River pork belly. You don't usually see them this uh, far down the river. So, That'll be handy, we'll have that for tea tonight. I'll show you how to fillet it and get it ready in a minute. There you go. Okay guys, so we've cut it so it'll fit in the camp oven. Sorry about the dirty table. I tried to give it a bit of a wash down, but it's a little bit in ground. So, we'll cut through here a bit and I wish I had a sharper knife. 
and then we'll get a bit of salt on it the old Murray River belly uh, pork belly a little bit the same as uh, a normal pork belly so we want to cut down through here we want to dry this off so we're going to put a bit of salt on it then we're going to let it I don't know what the word is let it dehydrate or something so we'll put it back in the fridge probably for an hour we'll have enough coals then we'll stick it in the camp oven a couple of beautiful little river boats heading upstream so there we have it guys we'll just get that off the edge a bit fits beautifully we'll get the lid on that we'll give it a check in about an hour's time usually pretty hard to get any crackling in a camp oven well the old experts out there will probably know how to do it but uh, we just tried to dry it out a bit we'll see how we go I have got a trick up my sleeve at the end if it's not crackling up so we'll see how it goes let's get the lid on it and uh, get it cooking okay guys I think she's nearly done but nice and crispy on the sides soft in the middle we're going to try and fix that obviously I didn't bring any tongs or anything as usual so hopefully we can get this out pretty good it's cooked nicely through nice and crunchy on those edges but that's rubbish there so we're going to try and fix that we've got some hot oil in there we're going to chuck it in upside down for probably a minute maybe two minutes and we'll see what happens I could stuff the whole lot up but let's go I know it looks ugly trust me I think it's gonna work and then we'll set it up on some paper towels and drain it for five minutes I've got some potatoes just in over there so nothing too flash today haven't made any gravy or anything up uh, we'll just take this up quickly I think I better get it out of there before I stuff it completely up oh it's got the oh, get it out of there quick well, there you go look at that nice and crackly beautiful well it doesn't look too bad guys that crackling is fantastic I reckon the old trick putting it in the, the hot oil would be better if you had a bowl of fresh hot oil dipped it in there 30 seconds bang get some more bubbling all crispy so uh, we'll just cut through and get a slice out for us get that over there I don't know how these potatoes are going don't think I left them in long enough but usually when I say that they come out burnt oh that might be alright yep not too bad put a bit of butter on them a little bit of salt because salt's bloody good for you on the potatoes anyway just a little bit there we go guys all plated up ready to go we've got to try another bit of that crackling can you hear the crunch beautiful I better show you the meat cut up we 
Well guys, feeding my magpie mate over here. Again, sorry about the dirty table. I've got to give that a scrub when I get home. I tried to clean it here with some water but uh, not much happening. Um, again, absolutely beautiful. The crackling itself was in the nines. But overall, seeing I didn't have gravy, I didn't have any vegetables, slapped it together pretty rough. And the crackling, next time a bowl of fresh oil, flip it upside down in it for 15, 30 seconds, get those crackles going. Um, so I'm going to give it 8.8. Um, Still beautiful, but I could have had it looking a lot better. Uh, that's my review. We're going to try another bit of this crackle. Let's try this bit here. Can you hear that crunch? One more. I hope you can hear that. Okay guys, so just sitting here, glass of scared of the dark medicine, we've managed to dodge the rain for the last couple of hours, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot coming through, I just looked uh, on the weather forecast app and uh, it doesn't look good, but we'll hang in here for a while, no fish, I seem to always go places where there's no fish, definitely not my uh, fault. So we've got the uh, camp oven down there with some water in it. Hopefully get that up to the boil so we can clean it out a bit. And I might see in the morning, I'm not, not too sure. Um, I've got to get up early in the morning, got to get back home. So uh, this might be the end of the video. If I happen to catch a fish or something, I'll uh, turn it back on. So uh, yeah, that's it. Nil Dotty, great little spot. Probably only about an hour and a half from Adelaide, so halfway between Walker's Flat and Swan Reach.